I'll be your baby and I promise not to let you go. Love you like crazy and I say you'll never let me go. Do y'all think I have the X Factor? Don't lie to me. Let me know. Drop it in the comments down below. Because y'all know sometimes I think I sound good and sometimes I think I sound horrible. But I think I sound good. Now, if y'all can be honest, just let me know. Let me know if I would have went on X Factor, could I, could I get on that stage? Just let me know. What's going on, YouTube? It's Kevin. Y'all know I have not reviewed X Factor USA since it premiered. It was because, let me tell y'all, I do X Factor UK review on the weekends, and there is no way I was going to sit there and watch everybody audition. So I just waited till we got to the, um, to the, what round was it? The boot camp round, and I said, no, I don't feel like doing it. Then I waited till they got to the judges' houses, and I was so into it, I said, no, I don't feel like, um, Still feel, don't feel like doing it. So I said, I'll wait till the motherfucking live shows. Now I got to work all fucking fall long with the X Factor until Christmas. I can't wait till Christmas when this is all over. But anyway, y'all, you know I wanted to do it with Mikkel. Not like that, y'all, because some of y'all some nasty bitches. But I'll, I'll try to do the X Factor reviews with Mikkel, but... Oh, shit, hold on. People on Black TV watching me. Hold on. They watching me on Block TV record and the camera just died. So just bear with me for like 10 seconds. 10 seconds while I get them back on. Because they're going to be mad. They're going to be mad. They're going to be mad. All right. So anyway, I'm back. So yeah, Mikkel just not into x Factor like that. But anyway, y'all, tonight was the live shows and the World Series got into the way of everything. So they had to do everything on a Tuesday night and cram it all in. In two and a half hours they had, we had 17 performances and then they had to cut five people. So let's just, let's just sum this shit up. Uh, Paula Abdul kept Stereo Hodges, Lakota Rain, I fucking love that name, Lakota Rain, and Intensity. Let me tell you something. I wish that Simon could have kept some people and Paula could have sent by all her groups home. Because I'm really not here for the groups except for Lakota Rain. I love Lakota Rain. Them girls are going to make some money. They are country girls. And the Dixie Chicks ain't here no more neither. And all you got is, uh, it's a quarter after one. I forgot their name, but... What the fuck is they? Oh, I forgot their name. They motherfucker. Yes. Anyway, it's not a lot of country groups. So they they are a shooting. If they get eliminated, oh my god, they're going to be a big country stars. Okay. So out the out their whole group, I like them the best. Stereo Hodges. I mean, they stole my song. They stole my got them, got them, na, na, na. They stole my motherfucker song. Only thing that was missing was me. They got six black guys, five or six black guys. They was missing me. I was supposed to be up there with them. They should have just. Skype me in or something, damn, I could have livened that performance up. Because you can't sing Otis and say, squeeze her, don't tease her, never leave her. No, you got to get the, got to, got to, squeeze her, don't tease her, and never leave her. You got to get that attitude. And they didn't give it to me, but they sounded great. That's why they're still there. But the Brewer Boys... And that intensity, they could go over to the Disney Channel for all I care. I'm not for seeing them win $5 million on the X Factor. I'm just not seeing it. And just like they said, oh, well, y'all are like a Glee Reject group. Or what did they say, Glee Reject? But they said something like Glee. Okay, I can see that. But anyway, y'all, the, the only person, the, the, the group I see going further in Paul and Abdul's group is Lakota Rain. So, let me tell y'all my gripe with Ellery. My gripe with Ellery, not only he is throwing out too many signals with these hands, they is just spilling his tea all over TV. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that part. But, I don't like the fact that that boy is in the group. This is Astro. I don't like that he's a part of Ellery's group because he is not a singer. This is not um, America's Next Top Rapper or something. He cannot sing. He's going to have to try to do some type of vocal training or something because I'm going to get tired of him. And plus, he's very arrogant, and I don't like that. He's like a young Kanye West, and he's too young to be... I don't think it's confidence. I think it's a little bit of cockiness, too. So he needs to bring that back. It's not like it's going on backstage, shit going on backstage, like over on the x Factor in the UK. But I'm just saying, he is just... Uh, he need to be worked on a little bit. But Marcus, oh, he is going to go far. Who else did L.A. Reid pick? Um, oh, he picked that boy Chris. He picked Chris because it's a sob story. You know, I really think it was a sob story because Chris sounded a fucking mess. He sounded 
terrible and they all try to give him that little speech but I'm not trying to be mean and I don't want to be mean but let me put it like this I mean the boy the man only been clean for X amount of days and I really think they don't want to send him home because they don't want him to get on drugs and, I, and I'm being truthfully honest if you watch the scorpion show you watch me because I'm honest I feel bad saying it but I think that's the truth I really think that's the truth and that's why they holding his ass in this competition because his vocals were not there tonight they did not show up but anyway Marcus is going to go far out there the whole entire group out of LA Reed's group um who else is the judge oh child Nicole Nicole and Paula tonight, they were boring the shit out of me. You, They both telling the contestants the same shit over and over. I'm like, can you tell them something different? The only people that I heard them critique was Simon's girls. Because they didn't like him according to Simon. But anyway, I really thought that Dexter was not going to get sent home. I thought they were going to send home Leroy. Because Dexter, he brings that entertainment. And you know, you would think that you would have somebody in there that would... You, that have you thinking, oh my God, what they going to do next week? What they going to do? What they going to do? That's what I seen in Dexter. I did not think that Dexter was going to sing Britney Spears and Katy Perry together and make it sound so fucking good. Leroy Bell, I mean, he looks good for 60, but baby, you want to get out there and sing? I'm going to need you to do more than stand in there with a the microphone and sing. You have to show that you are the ex Factor, you, I mean, come on, man, you just standing there, uh-uh, no, leave that to, never mind, but look, you got to go, you got to go, I, that's why I thought he was going, so anyway, um, you know, Stacy, Stacy was not going nowhere, Stacy was going to stay, and Josh just sounded good, if Josh would have sounded bad, and the judges would have critiqued him bad, Dexter would have stayed in the competition. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that. Okay, so anyway, so now let's get to Simon. You know, because Simon run X Factor. He got Pepsi with X Factor. You know, Simon just run this motherfucking shit. So anyway, we have five girls. Simon knew. You know, Simon... No shade, Simon do what the fuck he wanna do. He know he sent the wrong person home. He just wanted to fuck some Simone, Simone or Simone for a couple more weeks or whatever. Cause you know you can't tell me they ain't got nothing going on. He just loves her too much. He loves her too much, but he realized tonight that baby, this is where the motherfucking train ends, baby. This is the motherfucking depot. You got to get the fuck off of this train. Let me tell you something, Rachel. She's cute. Put that bitch on the no. Put that little girl on the Disney Channel, please. Put her on the Disney Channel. Look, she would be great because you know Disney Channel loves to hire actors and singers. She has a lot of personality. You can't tell me that girl can't act. She has a lot of personality. Put her ass on the Disney Channel. So anyway, and um, he picked uh, who else did he pick? Who else did Simon pick? Rachel, of course Melanie, but I'm going to wait for her. Um, bitch, 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 who he picked Black TV? Drew, yes, I can't stand that girl. I don't like her. She is no, no way she's going to win. Oh my God, I just, it's, it's just something about her I don't like. And, you know, I mean, she reminds me of Taylor Swift. People say she's singing better than Taylor Swift, but the girl is boring. She was boring, and I couldn't believe that they liked her performance. They was like, oh my God, you're so great, and you can do this, and blah, blah. And I'm like, get this bitch off my screen. I'm not feeling her. Hang it up. Hang it up. So, Melanie, we say the best for last. Melanie came out there and showed that she is a singer. She sang the right song. She had the right attitude she felt it in her spirit you know Simon felt bad for sending her home but he knew he sent the wrong person and he shouldn't have kept Tia or that girl named Simone Simone whatever the Simon's girlfriend that he been fucking you know but Melanie is going to go far in this competition and she is the strongest one in this whole show and she's going to win
If she does not win, I guarantee you this, a person of color will win the X Factor this year. Because we are in that motherfucking show. And I'm not just saying that because I'm black, but there's a lot of black people on this show. And one of them is going to win. Somebody going to win. So I asked y'all on Twitter, who is the front runner? Who is going to win this competition? Uh, King Louie, Melanie, Devalicious, Melanie, Miss Naughty, and Melanie, Music and Na Melanie, I'm going to say Nelamy, um, <laughs> One Curly Diva, Melanie, Amaru, Taj Crown, Melanie, Joe Nathan, I'll steal it all away, just don't tell nobody tomorrow. Well, you know what? <laughs> so anyway, um, um, yes, um, Yes, girl. So anyway, uh, I don't have nothing else to say. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I will be recapping X Factor every week. Damn, I got to do four X Factor videos a week. This going to be a bitch. But anyway, I hope that you all stay on for this ride because we're going to have a lot of fun with these reviews. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next week, Wednesday. Peace. And where's my motherfucking remote?